God, I just thank you so much for just all the strings you had to pull for us to come together, um, but just really not knowing each other at all uh, when we first started dating to, you know, I think back to touring our state and then uh, deciding to come there because it was just such a beautiful day. And then a year later, bumping into Brooke um, on a really cold evening, um, walking her back and then just that friendship developing and then getting a job in Ames that I could stay in the summer and then getting invited to go um, spend some time with Brooke um, on the water and then her inviting you. I and mean, it's just so many things had to go right um, for us to be together. And I'm just so thankful that it did. And even with the distance, we were able just to make it work. And I, I really think it helped us um, communicate well and get to know each other for who we are personally. Um, not um, anything else. Um, I was just so glad you were able to be aim so we could continue just to be closer to one another. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I've never, I've never had a relationship like this where I just always felt so loved and so appreciated and so comfortable uh, with you. And I just, just, yeah, so happy. Um, I pray that we always look to Jesus um, and keep him in the center of our lives. Um, that we really hold truth to those principles and um, just don't give up on, on that. Don't give up on our faith and don't take each other for granted. Um, and always love and just cherish each other. Amen. Have you been nervous at all? Really? No, I haven't, I haven't been that nervous. Um, pictures were good. I, I, we set up the chairs, so that kind of helps just do, you know, be active. I think just kind of this last hour has been the hardest, just kind of, let's go, you know, kind of, kind of tired of waiting. Um, we don't have to wait much longer, it's got to be pretty close by now. Yeah, everything's in place, all the family's here. I have never um, I was always talking about how you're, you're going to be the one that's going to cry. It's not going to speak. Um, I've never been with someone who's loved me like, oh, I can't wait till we're 80. <laughs> we're still going to look so good. <laughs> Silver Fox. I don't have much else to say. I'm just excited, but let's, let's just do it. I just love you. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day to celebrate the joy of marriage. We ask for your presence now and your grace upon Tommy and Ashley. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Let's say you meet someone new. When you meet them, you notice that they're wearing a retainer. So they begin to... So they begin to ask questions about your retainer and your overall dental health and dental history. <laughs> then they suggest that you should let them clean your teeth because you're a dental hygiene student <laughs> and you pinky promise that you will do that. You then make the appointment and proceed to show up an hour late. <laughs> Tommy, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Do you promise to be to her in all things a true and faithful husband, to cleave to her and to her only as long as you both shall live? I do. Very good. Ashley, will you have this man 
to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of marriage? Will you serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? Do you promise to be to him in all things a true and faithful wife, to cleave to him and to him only as long as you both shall live? Thank you. Very good. Tommy, you may kiss your bride. I am happy to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tommy and Ashley Simon. Yep. Tender and kind, built over time, this is my love for you. Steady and pure, patient and sure, this is my love. But I'm sure you knew, put your hand into, and you also knew that you were marrying a great guy. And an amazing friend. And so I'm very happy for you too. Gets one of every sauce, sits down, puts them all up, lays them out in a row, just starts dipping the chicken on his bag and a single one. And I was like, oh, Tommy, oh my goodness. <laughs> to just sum it up, I think he has been one of the most just faithful, amazing, and one of the friends you can always count on. I just remember getting in the car with him, and he's like, Katie, I found my wife. Tommy, I just have a little word of advice. You will never, ever have the upper hand anymore. They're both amazing cooks, so that if they have uh, me over and um, make food for me, then that's always good. I mean, mixer are so happy. Um, I'm not very good at speeches, but <laughs> my heart is very full. And we're not even on there like 15 minutes, and I get a text from her, and she's like, this guy next to me has already caught my number. Tommy's a little bit like a puppy dog in some ways. <laughs> you have to take him for lots of walks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loyal and care for you. It's wonderful. <laughs> lots of walks. But this love is worth the wait. Let go and hear the sound Pull all the bears down I'll cherish the one I found yeah, This is my love 